you all for coming today. As you know, we are here to address the UK's role and hold them accountable for their complicity in the world's biggest humanitarian crisis and conflict in Sudan, rooted in struggles in resources and wealth, whilst also shedding light and address the lack of media attention surrounding the conflict in Sudan, which has resulted in the deaths of thousands, the displacement of millions, and the pressing need for humanitarian assistance for 25 million people. London for Sudan is against the SAF and the RSF, but we're also against every external factors and organizations that play a part in this war on civilians. Yes. The UAE for fueling the crisis. Shame the UN. Shame. Yes, a boo for UAE, guys. Woo! The UAE for fueling this crisis. The UN for doing little to nothing. Literally. Media outlets for the lack of coverage. Literally. And the UK for its complicity. Yes. All of this causing damage, human rights abuses, sexual violence, and the killings of thousands of civilians. The crisis in Sudan should be international news. Despite the devastating impact of the war, the conflict has been overshadowed by other global crises. The most severe humanitarian emergency crisis labelled by the UN lacks sufficient international media coverage and public awareness, leading to limited humanitarian funding, assistance and lack of urgency. We are here, we are here today to urge the UK government to acknowledge its mistakes, prioritise justice and accountability in response to the crisis in Sudan. We can play a pivotal role in shedding light on the plight of the Sudanese people, garnering support for humanitarian efforts and urging the UK government to take action and intervene through mediation and aid provision. We released an action last night to urge attendees to take immediate action to email Foreign Secretary David Cameron, Minister of State for Development and Africa Andrew Mitchell. We want the UK to be accountable. We want sanctions against the UAE and we want to mobilise support for vital humanitarian efforts in Sudan. You can find our email template in our bio and on Instagram. Yeah, London for Sudan. <laughs> Human Rights Watch recently released a pretty astonishing report detailing ethnic cleansing in West Darfur, highlighting the atrocities faced by many marginalised communities like the Maslit tribe, including killings, forced displacement, sexual violence and children being piled up and shot. We want to start off our speeches by doing a one minute silence for Darfur and every single marginalised person and community that are being persecuted, murdered and raped in Sudan. So please join us.